everybody. everybody. Well, we'll just do the, we'll do the. Ooh, this is gonna be a wild and crazy day. We kind of started uh, flying by the seat of our pants. We've done that before, I have, though. Uh, my, yeah, I, you know, you think I'd get it all together. I don't have a microphone. <laughs> but, I, but I'm talking in Jen's mic, so that's okay. That's funny. Well, it's a good thing I've got a mouth that you could, your mic picked me up. And I got a big I frying forgot. pan here. That's right. And I'll tell you what, I have found something that I would call that a, a villain whopper. If somebody comes in to rob you or beat you, Jen, I want you to pick up that little I thing. love these. Oh, good gosh, let me tell you. I want you to tell me how much you think that bad boy weighs. About 12 pounds. Would that stop an intruder at your home? Depending on where you hit him, it would. <laughs> oh, that was mean and evil. <laughs> no, 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 you go for the kneecap or the top of the foot. That sucker's heavy. You go for the kneecap or the top of a foot. Now that's from a sheriff's self-defense course. There you go. Right on the top of the foot and you can cripple them. Y'all guess what we're gonna do today. If you saw two kinds of homemade jelly, we got pear preserves and we got muscadine jelly, and then we've got the whole segment today is because Papa Dockery went to be with Jesus, and before he left, he brought me a quart of honey. Okay, let's have honey. And I will tell you, I didn't open this quart of honey till this weekend, and you see how much of it is gone? This is making hot tea to make you feel better when you have whatever's going on in your head. So, um, and if you're battling COVID, the greatest thing to me is hot tea with lemon and honey. It's soothing, it's just so soothing. But also, vitamin yourself up and take care of yourself and rest and do what you need to do. We have so many people Oh, I took all my vitamin B12 and my D3 and my everything today. And we're gonna do today, because of Papa Dockery, we're doing homemade biscuits and because of Dwight and Kim Kelly that I spent the afternoon with yesterday, Dwight taught me a lesson. I've never used red label white lily, so today it is going to be very strange for me to use red label white lily flower. Well, no, it, is what is really... it is unbleached, so it is supposed to be healthier and better. But it's so this frozen. This is my stand to, yes, and this is my standby well, that's forever and ever and ever. And Evelyn, if you're watching Sugar, the next time I send you to the store to get white lily flour, this is flour, not cornmeal. So, <laughs> bless her heart. And, um, you know, she, she does all she, she can do for Well, me. we're going to have to teach her the difference <laughs> between flour and cornmeal. There is okay, a big difference. Okay, when I make biscuits, I use this and this. But my preference, I love biscuits made with lard. There's not a better biscuit So we're going to do them both way today, Jen. Okay. We might do three different ways of biscuits. We might use, because I also got butter flavored Crisco because I like butter flavor. I use that sometimes. I got that too. So, and let me tell you the whole Papa Dockery, the reason we're doing this program. A very, very special place near where I live makes these amazing biscuits. And I went in there today and I said, will you please show me how you make your biscuits so big? Is that beautiful white house no, around the corner? No. This is a gas station in Ball Grounds. Okay, the gas station biscuits are the generally shell, the best biscuits the around. The Shell gas station in Ball Ground made this biscuit this morning. Now look at that. Is that not that's like a, a meal? That's a your kind of biscuit. This that's is a bacon, your... egg, and cheese. The only thing that's missing is a big tablespoon of white cream gravy. <laughs> well, it is, it is their biscuits, and she taught me a lesson. So I went home, and I took a little advice from her, and she cuts her biscuits with a can. So I went home, and I poured out some stuff, and I put it in a container, and I used, I'm going to use a can today to cut biscuits. I've never cut biscuits like this before. This is a whole new learning experience for me. My mother used a glass. I, well, Hello, this my, is what I usually use. Yeah, that's so, a good cat head yeah, right there. So I like this. I like this. So we're going to do both. Today is going to be experimental day. Y'all are going to, this is kind of like my biology class. We will either pass it or we will oh, no, fail it no, no, miserably. No. We're going to so, pass it. We're just going to give you a whole lot of options craziness. because there's no one way to make anything. Today I threw it out on Facebook and I said, tell me your business, tell me your biscuit successes and tell me your biscuit failures. And there were some failures and there were some successes and I don't like the angle of that camera on me. <laughs> 
don't want to shoot that. No, camera. we all know why. Have but we got don't a worry gun? about it. You look she's just. You look. You're, I'm looking in the monitor. You look just fine. You look just fine. You look oh, just Lord fine. Oh Lord, me! I like that straight on shot. So, but anyway, we are going to. Um, we're going to make. First of all, I've already pre-sifted my flour, and this is my original. What I use the normal green white lily. This is what Dwight Kelly told me to use, which is the unbleached. And he said, your biscuits will be a little creamier looking, yellow looking, okay. rather than white. So, so we're gonna do that. Okay. And can I tell you how many years I've had these two bowls? At least 12. Over 35 years. Over they 35 look like years that old. I use them Are they them old the Pyrex? Time. They are and I love them. I love, they have I love, that look of Pyrex. But we, we are going to do, use. we're going to roll Don't out. throw that piece of bacon away. <laughs> Don't throw, no ma'am, do not throw that piece. There's a hunk of bacon she's about to throw in the here, trash can here. Here, put that with your biscuit. Okay, when I went into the shell this morning, I told the girls, I said, I'm going to make biscuits on the air, but I need to start with your biscuit. So I wanted to show you a finished product. This is a local shell gas station in Ball Ground. I don't know how many they make a day. But I can tell you when I worked at a restaurant in Cumming that I, ugh, talk about slave labor, it was horrible. It was hot in there. It was like an oven at all times. I made 880 biscuits on well, some Sundays. How many Sundays. did you make, though, at your place? You made about the same amount, didn't no, you? No, we made about 250 a day at our place. Is that what you yeah, did? Yeah, And um, But at, at this restaurant, it was huge. It was massive. It was in Forsyth County. And I would make 10 pans of 88 biscuits. Now, after you make 10 pans, 88 biscuits, you don't want to eat a biscuit, so I, don't, I ain't never eat no biscuit. I like biscuits and I eat them at home, but at the restaurant, I but just couldn't do that. But you don't make 200 that. at a time. No, I usually make 20 something, and, and that pan, I don't think I even brought it over here, but um, I usually use the sheet pan, and when I had the kids at home, I used the sheet pan of biscuits, and I think it made maybe 15, something like that. You get and used to the normal number that's on there. Family. Yeah. But now I've toned it down and I make something about this size. But you can make and, six biscuits. We just could, you couldn't get Lori to make six biscuits. I make biscuits. something about this size. This is my favorite way to make biscuits. That's the best biscuits So there today is. we're gonna make biscuits in this and we're gonna make biscuits in this. This one goes with this bowl. This one goes with this one. So we're gonna take Dwight's advice and I'm gonna try something I've never tried before. I'm gonna come up behind you and start flour. switching stuff around and see what it does. She's gonna drive me crazy. But I gotta share something with y'all. I love you. Yesterday, I love you too. <laughs> I went to a um, bridal shower and um, looking for a card to, to write for the bride, da, da 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 I found something that just really touched my heart. So it gave me a great start to Sunday. Special thanks to you. And this is from Eddie, Eddie and Loretta, Freddie's mom and dad. And I just found this and it says, thanks for all the cards and letters um, this year and thank you for all you do for us. And we love you, Loretta and all. And then Eddie, which this, this is just what got me because y'all have to know this quiet, wonderful man that I never left his house, he didn't hug me, never. He was the sweetest, sweetest human being in the world. And he wrote, P.S., thanks a lot for the TV. Fred had it up and going when we got back from the drugstore. It reminded me of Don Pettit shows out in town in 1949 and 50. So I wanted to throw it out there today to all our ball ground older folks. Do you remember down in town, I got him a really big TV. It was a big TV. And I think that maybe he just meant the size of the screen or whatever. So, and it says, thanks, love you, Eddie. That's like the greatest gift. And so when I found that, I said, there's a reason I went through this. But you this, never throw cards. anything away. I never throw anything away. She really doesn't. She has and boxes of to stuff. to Susan Liebert, thank you, thank you, thank you. She sent my friend and my, my sweet, sweet friend, Selena, a donation to help with her today. Second second round of chemo. You know what that's like. That's, you I'm know, telling you. Know once she the is in my goes, prayers. She's in my thoughts and prayers every day. Me too. So, so we want all of y'all to continue to pray for Angel Spirit. We still have CDs for sale, and we need to and sell I'm, those I'm CDs. And I'm now the Northern Distributor, so just yes, she is. To give me a handful and call Market, me. In the Market in Blue Ridge, McKaysville, Mineral Bluff, pick up the phone and call Jen. And y'all can see. Have you ever seen me without rings, without jewelry? Let me show you where they're at. They're in my pocket. Oh, for God's sake! They're I right was here. At, I was you ever at, made biscuits and got biscuit dough in your rings? I was at the Marietta <laughs> Diner on Friday. <laughs> Whatever you do, watch out with your stuff, yeah, please. Yeah. I did look to see if I could find your purse still hiding somewhere. Yeah. Okay, will you please shred some cheese? We're gonna have cheese biscuits. 
We're gonna have. All right, how big do you want it? Do you want it here? Do you that one? This one. We're gonna have honey biscuits. We're gonna have cheese biscuits. We have no meat involved, so if you're a vegetarian today, you can eat with us. It would be great. And we're gonna start with this bowl, which will do the iron skillet. And again, this is something. I have never done this before, and I just washed my hands before we came on set, y'all, so. We both did. Don't panic. And um, that, yeah. Is that about just right? Just a minute. And I am gonna do these with regular Crisco, and I am going to, and Dwight and I had this conversation. See that? That, and I, and I wanted to show, everybody kept saying, show me how to make biscuits. How show much how cheese to make biscuits. do you want? That's uh, just, yeah. Just shut up and yeah. shut up and shred. I don't care. I don't yes, care. I don't measure. I don't care. <laughs> Just shut up and shred. Okay. I got it. This is whole buttermilk from Mayfield Dairies. This is Crisco. Did you see me measure this? No. Did you see this is two cups of it's sifted flour. Basically it's it's not two cups, it's my sifter full. So if you have a sifter, and I meant to bring the sifter out here to show y'all. You have a sifter, I fill my sifter, and then I put it in here. You make a well in the flour. And I'm making a well in the flour. You know what kind of cheese we're roasting uh -huh. shredding. Don't okay. say that. Yeah. I won't. Don't say that word. I won't. Somebody will say, oh, oh, that's oh. exotic. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. Oh. That's going to make it absolutely delicious. That. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's going to make it absolutely delicious. We're going to have to do a disclaimer before we do a show and say, don't you say a word. Okay, I have got, I crumbled up the Crisco in there, and I hope that I put enough Crisco. But to this, I'm going to add a tiny bit of the butter flavor Crisco. So I took the regular Crisco, I've crumbled it in there, and now I'm going to do a little tiny bit of the butter flavor because I really, really like that. So, and can y'all see, everybody says, how do you do this? You just put a whale in there. Oh, not a whale, but a, a whale. whale. Yeah, not a whale, but a whale. You had a hard time one time explaining in Alaska. that to a lady yes, in that Alaska. Poor lady. Okay, now, do y'all see me measuring anything? No, you don't see me measuring a thing because you don't measure, you just kind of do it with your hands till it feels right. And I was telling somebody that the other day. And I'm smelling that cheese. That cheese is smelling really <laughs> smells good, really I'm telling good. you. But if I you've am. ever been to Olive Garden or if you've ever been to um, Red Lobster okay, where they see have how cheesy little this biscuits, piece is? Mm -hmm, you're gonna eat it. Oh, that's, oh my God, that's good. Oh yeah, so oh, we oh, are going boy. to. That's excellent. This is what it looks like to begin with. Now. You barely, barely, barely touch it. You don't want to mess with this flour. That's the problem. You don't want to mess with the flour. So you just barely, barely move it around a little bit. You can bit. absolutely overwork your flour and you don't uh, want to do gotta that. You've got to be so careful. You, you it needs be to so be careful. tender and light and fluffy. you got to be so careful. Okay, Jen, can you get me that iron skillet? And can you put a little bit of that butter in the bottom of it? And you can use a paper towel so you don't mess your hands up. You sure you want me to? Yeah, yeah. I'll just... No, 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 that's fine. Yeah, just a... Hell. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, now we are going to pat these biscuits out, which is how I normally do it. The next ones, we're going to roll them out. And I don't normally roll biscuits, but I'm going to roll these out. Okay, cool. Now... We've got to have this a little is, bit of butter over the whole I bottom barely, of the pan. Barely, 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 barely mess with them. There you go. Okay, there's the first one. Now. That just made it better. There you go, and I just barely, barely mess with them. And there you go. And you don't mess with them much. And that's the lesson. And people are like, well, how do you do that? Now, my grandmother wouldn't have all this stuff all over her hands, and she would be after me about it. And she'd say, how do you get it you all over your the, hands? The, the dough has to be very, very tender. It is. You overwork a dough, it gets tough and yep. sticky and not good. Yep, and yep. And this a, is well, this that, is the unbleached really flour, y'all. Mm -hmm. So this is going to be interesting for me because I've never done it. And when Dwight was telling me, I said, tell me about your biscuits because I've heard that you make amazing biscuits. And he said, well, everybody says they are. So, okay, there you go. And... Seven perfect biscuits. I made, well, I actually made more than that pan's going to hold. So you got the other little pan. It's right over here. So we're gonna do that. Okay, there's those. And I didn't put them in the right order, but can you Is this get a non-stick or does this go. need some butter too? Go. Okay, that probably needs a little bit. 
So we're going to cook two pans of these. And from this, I'm going to do something I've never done before, but I'm going to try it. I'd only do I've this never done you. this on live TV. I do this at home, though. Never. Okay, hold that down. Hold the fork down. And then we're going to put this on here. And then I'm going to cut a couple of biscuits, which I don't ever do. But I'm going to cut some biscuits. I don't think I've ever seen And I'm going to use this biscuit. can like that lady at the Shell Station, but she uses a bigger can. Can you, you sit that down? You got maybe two. If I swear, I'm going to scream. That phone better quit ringing. What is wrong with people? Do they not know what I do? <laughs> we need to put an automatic answer, and answer on your phone. I'm sorry, I'm doing the show right you know, now. Please call me, me back in a, yeah. in a few minutes. I've had two different realtors call me while we've been on the air, y'all. Everybody knows what I do for a living. It's not a secret. I sell real estate. So no. don't call me while I'm on there. Put that together and put that in here. And, and then I'm going to do that. And I just don't ever cut them, but I'm going to cut the next round too and see how that goes. So there you go. All right. Now, we're going to take a music break and we're going to do this so I can run, throw these in the oven. Then I'm going to come back and we're going to make another round and we're going to cut them and we're going to do them with the regular white lily flower and we're going to see if there's a so time for the difference. This is with the unbleached. Unbleached. Unbleached and, and here it is and this is when I leave my bowl. I leave it like that then I re-sift when I start to make it again and that's why I use a covered bowl so you protect it. And when we come back from this, we're going to do a commercial break, and then we are going to do some angel spirit music. And I want to remind you, the CDs are still available at Deb's um, Bakery over in Jasper, at the Robin's Nest Florist in Jasper, and at Laura Mays in Ballground. And I have them, and Jen's going to have some. So there that you go. That Laura Mays, I saw Friday, and is beautiful. It is gorgeous. Oh, my goodness. Okay, guys, I'll be back in just a minute. I'm going to go throw these in the oven. So y'all hang tight. We'll be right back. We'll count to 20 and see when she gets back. Yay! Well, just a little bit about us. You, most of you probably know us all. Um, on my far left is my Aunt Diane Green. And next to me is my mother, Mildred Sewell. And I'm Selena Fields. And uh, quite honored tonight to have my twin girls here with us. So glad they're here. My brother, thank you for being here. I um, guess our next song is going to be Right on Time. <laughs> Resident and said 
everything, <laughs> but he'll be right on time, right on time. I just need to say a word, I guess. I've been sick so long, and it is just such a joy. I'm not at a good range of voice and all, but it's a joy to be standing right here doing what I'm trying to do right now. I want to thank everybody that has uttered a prayer for me, and I need your continued prayers and lead us to say, but thank God I'm on the road to getting better, I think. And while we're at it, I know that this is in some relation to Hans. We're trying our best to uplift that young man. He has become so much a part of my life every day. I just can't wait to hear Sherry tell me how he is every morning. And I want him to know if this, if this goes to him, we are with you, Hans. You keep the faith, and we will too. All right, glory roll. Let me tell y'all now, see this? This is the amount of biscuits that I tried to teach Lori Tipton to make. And today, we're gonna try to do, this is with the white lily green, which is what I always use. Bleached self rising. And it is bleached. And Make it a little when, bit thicker and maybe we can get more in. When they were telling me a little bit about um, why they use bleached, unbleached flour, kinda made sense to me, so. I said, well, maybe I should try it, so I'm trying it. But right now, I'm going back to my original, and I am gonna use some butter-flavored Crisco. We just love getting greasy and dirty. It's I so do. much fun. And I was gonna use a little bit of lard, 
but I decided not to. I'm using regular Crisco oh, and butter flavor. Because that's what makes it really good. Half and half and half and half and half. So now this weekend, um, David Tiny Teague went to be with the Lord. That that young man had fought and fought to live and, and to his family. I love y'all and I'm to the kids, the boys, um, Teresa, everybody. I'm just, I, I loved him. He was a good, good guy. So say a prayer for the Teague family. And um, Chris Hyde, still in the hospital, please pray for anybody fighting COVID. And if you have COVID, um, it, it's one of those things that either hits really, really hard or it barely, barely hits. It's just such a strange, strange Nothing beast. In such a strange beast. And again, I'm using Mayfield Buttermilk. And here we go, and this is the amount that Lori wanted to learn to make. And I said, I don't know if I can do this or not, but I'm kind of doing it. You're doing pretty good. I'm kind of doing it. Now, my money was always on you. I love Lori, and there isn't anything Lori can't do except make six biscuits. Well, and I can't make six. I think we're going to end up with about nine out of this one. We lost so. Miss Laurie to Alaska. Sherry yeah. took her to Alaska, and she never got her heart back. I made a mistake. I took her to Alaska, and then she met this amazing man, and her Boy, life he, is Cinderella. Oh, my goodness gracious. It's like Cinderella in, in duplicate. So she has it made in these shades. You see the creatures outside her window the other yes, day on that post amazing. she put on her Facebook page? Okay, now I'm going to do, I'm going to cut them, which is something I don't normally do. But I just thought today, I, in honor of the lady at the Shell gas station who told me her little trick, and I was like, you do what? Now, where's the Shell and gas she said, station? I use a ga she said, I use a can. Is it there at the corner where you turn into, mm -hmm. where is no, it? No, it's right down where Thrift Town used to be in Ball Ground. Okay. So, and it's one of those things, and let me tell you something else, um, Fred Genovese taught me not to turn when you cut because it seals the it sides. I remembered. See? Leave it open I so remembered. That it's tender. So there you go. So oh, he I'm said it has it. to breathe, is what he said. Okay. I turned it. Now, isn't he going to be on our show next week, your show next yes, week? Yes, we're going to do a Valentine's special with him from last year. Yep. Because he is doing, he is chef extraordinaire right now. For a corporation and doing a lot of things and doing a lot of travel for him right yep. now. Yeah, and that's what, you know, you do what you got to do to make a living. But I've been talking to Linda a lot lately and. You do what you got to do Mrs. to make a Genovese, living. Mrs. Genovese, and he's sending us some. Is he loving it? He absolutely loves the, the daylights out of it. Well, that's good. Okay, now this is weird for me because I don't cut biscuits. I always just, you know, pinch them. So I'm cutting some today. I don't know why I decided to cut them. I guess because I was fascinated okay, with that lady. Okay, let's see how this dough tastes. Ooh, ooh. My, that lady said I cut it with a can, and when she showed me the can, I said, you got to be kidding me. That's a very good dough. Is it? Well, yes, it is. this is white lily again. But it's got that taste of buttermilk that makes the biscuits oh, so good. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. Buttermilk makes them all better. Sure does. And remember that you don't work your dough too much, and you know, I tried Just teaching my biscuit. daughter to make biscuits. Make that one biscuit. I tried to teach um, Dawn to make biscuits, and she couldn't learn from her mama. But she went out the road, and this precious little lady, Miss Long, taught her to make biscuits. And so I saw Dawn's biscuits, and I said, oh, my gosh, they're amazing. Who taught you to do this? Why couldn't you learn from your mama? She said, same reason you couldn't learn from Granny. She said, y'all are aggravating. <laughs> so. They just like each other. That's... <laughs> So, but we're going to put these biscuits in the stove now, and I hope the others are almost ready to come out, but we have a little treat for you. So sit back, and you're going to get to hear and see a little treat of some things that Tim compiled from the past. No, because I want to go check the biscuits, and i got to go wash my hands. As if I couldn't so check the biscuits. I'll be back in just a minute, guys. Sit back and enjoy some music. I'm just going to stand here and eat this. It's so good to be back in Ella J, Georgia. That's right. Ain't it good to be back home again? Yeah, it is. But uh, <clears throat> I wanted him to sing that yeah. song so bad. And he There's a storm across the valley. Clouds are rolling in. The afternoon is heavy. On your shoulder There's a truck out on the four lane a mile or more away the whining of his wheels just makes it colder 
going to give you this great apple recipe, really easy. Peanut butter bread and apples, that's pretty simple. And I bet you, I bet you you're going to like it. Well, I don't think it'd be a good idea for me to try it on the set. I think you I may, I may have to leave the set. <laughs> <laughs> now, we're not going to say that we stayed up all night long and did these, right? But we will say you took the motorhome under something that said 11 foot and the motorhome's 12 feet. How yeah, do we, we do that? We wasn't sure we were going to be getting our wings this morning. Hey, it's good to be back home again. Sometimes it's so fun. If you was wondering why I was a singing and a doing this, because if you'll if you'll watch Sherry, she'll just sit there and she'll she'll just oh is that what you're doing? You're just rubbing your quilt. I love my quilt. I love my quilt. Yes. And your mother called last Friday. Sunshine made her cry. You felt the baby move just yesterday. Appreciate that. I don't know. Let's go down to some awesome music. Here we are, Matt Diamond. And we're going this time. We are. <laughs> All right, cut the camera off. Uh, Madeline. 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 Yeah. Listen, I will say, is he's younger than me, and that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> well, 58 younger than you. <laughs> Try it again. It's Madeline, not 58. <laughs> I know of just spending time with you. It's a little thing that make a house a home. Like a fire softly burning, supper on the stove. The light in your eyes that makes me warm. Hey. I wish I could tell you how much these biscuits weigh. They Watch are out. so light Watch and so out. fluffy and amazing. I have another pan in the oven that I have to go get out in about two minutes. And then I have another pan. I have a third pan. But we're going to tell you. Is this unbleached? This is the unbleached. This started because Papa Dockery, before he went to be with Jesus, loved to give people honey. And so, these are not Michelle, very good. Michelle, come here. These are not very good. Michelle, you want up. honey on your biscuit? All right. Mm. Y'all, this oh, is. Oh, Terry, that's delicious. This is absolutely the sweetest thing. Oh. And what a precious weekend I had because I remembered this amazing, darling, darling man who loved people. More than that, he loved the Lord. 
and he shared he shared his goodness of God with everybody and um, to know him was to love him and he went to be with Jesus but today today's program is in honor and in memory of Debbie Dockery who went to be with Jesus and I still don't believe Debbie's and that not was here a shock. That I was still an I still shock, cannot believe it? she's not here and it breaks my heart but y'all I gotta tell you Dwight Kelly I love you thank you for this clue okay thank you for this because I love the way these biscuits look and they are so light and fluffy are you ready for a biscuit I'm fine let's get everybody right, else this one's one, Michelle's. I don't do honey on biscuits <gasps> you don't do honey on biscuits all right just slap me right now that and get should it over be a with. crime in three cities I do butter and I do cream gravy oh well I'm with you there too so but again look at this Tim can you get a close-up of that this is truly, and this is with the um, Tim's unbleached. Busy. Tim's busy eating the biscuit. I hate that angle shot. Oh, I'm going to take that camera. I'm going to shoot that camera <laughs> right now. I'm going to shoot that camera. <laughs> I hate that angle. Now, I got cheese over mm, here, too. Mm. Okay, it's good for the food, but it's not good for me. So, okay, here is this biscuit. It is amazing. There, Michelle. There's yours. Thank you very Thank much. You. And um, we're going to do another little bit of music because I need to run get the iron skillet biscuits. She won't let and me go. I get will them. just tell y'all. See this Fitbit today? You know what it said? Go, girl! You about killing yourself? Because <laughs> I'm running back and forth. This building, we're over here in the very, very end. The kitchen is way over there, about Canton, Georgia, in the other end. Just about down that and road. And so I have to every time I leave, y'all, I have to woo over there and go get it and woo back over here. And so you I'm will do love that. that biscuit. That's delicious. Listen, do you want to try a cheese biscuit? That's why I brought the cheese. I'm fine. Okay. I'm because fine. Because I thought while they're hot. I'm not eating a lot of bread right now for some reason. Really? I don't know. I don't know why. Well, My taste buds have changed a little well, bit. Look at look at y'all look. That butter that Oh my gosh. Isn't that awful? Look at this. Look. Just a little cheesy biscuit. Oh. Do you like cheese? Okay. So we're gonna do Michelle a couple she can take with her. These, oh my gosh. Dwight, thank you very much. I love. That's a blame good biscuit, that is, Sherry. Oh my gosh. That yes. is a darn Take a look. good this biscuit. This is, and y'all, this is so simple. Everybody can make biscuits. You just have to not work your dough too much and don't stress over it. My first biscuits, I was so stressed because my grandmother was going to judge I'm taking a how bite they came your, out your and they were horrible. Without <laughs> cheese in it. All right, mm. we're going to take another music break, mm. and when we come back, I'm going to be here with an iron skillet full of biscuits, and we'll see how they look when we return in oh just a God, minute. Oh, my God, that is good. United Country Talking Rock Realty says it best. I'm happy as long as I can see Sharp Top. From the ground up, new home to complete renovation or remodel, we have combined the amazing workmanship of SGC groups, transforming the forgotten to the fabulous. Teamwork makes the dream work. For buying, selling, or flipping, call Sherry Martin at 404-375-0590 or Evelyn Calhoun at 770-733-0779. Whether you're in the mood for chicken strips, a delicious burger, our classic banana split, or an upside down thick blizzard treat, we've got you covered. Hot and fresh food every day, every time. And delicious DQ soft serve make the perfect pair at your favorite place. Not fast food, fan food fast. Your Blue Ridge, Ella Day, and Jasper Dairy Queens are your meet, eat, and treat headquarters. Thank you for choosing DQ, how may I serve you? Whether you're swimming in the sea or splashing in the pool, making a masterpiece or just making memories, writing a great American novel or writing your term paper that's due tomorrow, whatever you do in life, Farmers is here to protect it. For all your insurance needs, call Donald Curtis in Blue Ridge. 
Georgia Medical Treatment Center now has two locations to bring you the high quality holistic care you've come to know and expect. We treat neck, back, and joint pain with chiropractic care and injection-based treatment without the need for surgery or prescription painkillers. Our medical weight loss program can also provide relief while ridding your body of toxins, pounds, and inches while improving your overall health. Call today for a free consultation, 770-345-2000, or go online to georgiamtc.com. I'm sorry. Okay, y'all look. This is biscuits. And Until I go wash my hands, my hands gonna have and to be. That, that's what you want your biscuits to look like. Mm -hmm. That's what you want your biscuits to look like. You want them to be brown and amazing. I tell you what, that'd give Doyce Loudermilk a run for his <laughs> money. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's awesome. There, you know, my oven at home doesn't brown quite like this. This is an electric oven, so. I gotta give kudos to this oven. I love that oven. Awesome job, awesome job, awesome job. Michelle has so, bought, brought, bought you something to use here for cooking in the future. Oh good. That's gonna be let really good to use. Let me tell you what we're gonna do right quick. While they're hot, we're gonna slice and dice those and we're gonna spread some of this cheese on it. And we're gonna have cheese and biscuits. That's right, you gave, Tim got both of the cheese biscuits. Oh, I gave geez. him both of them. Yeah, I gave him both I of them. Love it. I Bless love his it. heart. You know, I might snitch one without cooking, anything on it. Country cooking, simple southern cooking. Will you talk a little bit about my cookbook? I'd be more than happy to. I've looked at this cookbook for years and years and years and years and years, and it's simply, it's, it's simple, it's southern, it's scrumptious. And the best thing about sherry is that a, a recipe is only the beginning. You start somewhere, you look at it, you think, well, hmm, I don't want raisins in that, but I'd love to have pecans. Or a croissant. Or, or I don't, I don't uh, want to put man, I don't want to put mayonnaise in that, but let me try sour cream. Right. It just gives you an idea, but you read now, through this look, and so I many of these. The back of the biscuits. That's the biscuit. That's what you're looking for. And I, I'm telling you, I'm going to go back there in a minute. I'm going to hug that oven because it did perfect. It did what it's supposed to do it today. It absolutely did perfect. Well, you're going to cut that one right there and give it to me. <laughs> I am? Yes, ma'am, you are. <laughs> I can, I can, I can. Oh, my gosh. Yum. But my gosh, They're when so you light think, and so I can think about the, the, the times we've been riding around getting all of this, and you look at this. Oh my goodness, I open this, and here's a recipe from Margie Mole. Oh, how precious. Oh my gracious, bless how her heart, bless and her heart. Jesus, yeah. Lila Dobbs Paget. My sister. Yeah, absolutely. Yep. And I only have six copies of this cookbook. Grandma, this Grandma so Dobbs, Lydia Waters. Now I'm doing really good. I don't, I don't even have my glasses on. <laughs> and let me tell you something I cooked this weekend, y'all. I did Brunswick stew. And I did did you do the easy way? I just happened to I be don't reading do that. that. Recipe. I do my own recipe. And it was so yummy and so good and so simple. And I'm going to share that with y'all. And um, actually, Brunswick stew is one of my favorite foods. And as a kid, I had no idea how it started or where it came from or whatever. All right, you mentioned Chef Fred Genovese. I did. Fred would walk to China and back barefooted for her, <laughs> her blackberry cobbler. And here's the recipe, summer blackberry cobbler with coconut pecan topping. Now that one's not Whoa. mine. Whoa. That one is Doris Floyd. That's Doris Floyd. It's very unusual and very, very good. And I said, you know, that's what it's all about, guys. Take your recipe and share it with your friends and neighbors and then let them add what they want to do to it because everybody has their own way of looking and thinking and doing. Brenda and Henderson and a lot of really Oh, know, Michelle fans. Michelle Pearson, gooey cake, Michelle coconut Pearson chocolate covered Jesus. There's so many people who helped me do that. Cooking. That's what's going to be the hard gone. part about looking at this is yeah. how many people yeah. are really gone. gone. Evelyn Black's gone. Yeah. This is in an iron skillet. The iron skillet has to be the best way in the world to make a biscuit. The iron skillet has to be the best way. And if y'all are watching us on YouTube later and you want to get in touch with me, remember my email is the Sherry Show at hotmail.com and it's T H E C H E R I E oh my God. S H O W at hotmail.com, all lowercase. Mm. Sherry Show at hotmail.com. 
And if you haven't subscribed to our YouTube, we have three channels, Sherry Martin 2009, Sherry Martin, and Sherry Martin Heart of the Heart Home. Of the home. And Tim, we're trying, we're trying to combine everything. The Heart of the Home recipes go way, way I back. love that because that brings back a lot of memories some of, of some of the of best life. people yeah. in the world and they're all gone. So many of them are gone. Mama Lucy, you think about the days in the kitchen with her and the meatloaf battle because Mama Lucy wanted <laughs> Good to Lord. her meatloaf and I said, Applesauce. Lucy, did you see my mama's recipe? I said, we're using my mama's recipe today. And she said, but mine's better. <gasps> I thought, don't say those don't, words. Don't my start. mama would come back and haunt you. So, But take your recipe and oh share with gosh. friends and neighbors and let them add their own kick to it. Sherry, we need to open a you kiosk know, and sell these. <laughs> you know whose birthday's tomorrow? Victoria Taylor. So today, Tori, oh my God, I'll get on a plane and take her some. We didn't make you mm, a birthday cake. We made you a biscuit hoe cake. We made oh. you biscuits, biscuits and cheese, biscuits and honey. And Michelle, there's one more pan in the stove. Oh, and if you'll yeah. take these, mm. this is how I did it. And just let them make sure they're good and brown before you bring them in. <coughs> How's Kathy Mullins doing? Good. Here's a recipe from her. She worked right, with you for so long. Mama, so many recipes from her. Cream but, cheese you know, Danish. I started because I made pear preserves, Don made jelly, and Papa Dockery brought me this. And today's program is dedicated to the love and the memory of Debbie Dockery. It would be her birthday. It is her birthday in heaven today. And I want to say to the Dockery family, nobody ever loved me, prayed for me, and helped me any more than all of them have. And Debbie was one of those, when she would come around to do a program with Asa, I'd be sitting up here and she'd walk in and there was like this glow that walked into the room. And so today, heaven is a brighter place because Debbie Dockery is there. We didn't want her to leave, we didn't want her to go. Um, I could not believe that morning when you made that announcement. I could not believe it. I couldn't believe it. I mean, I just, I kept saying this can't be real. I this could can't not be believe real. it. But now with okay. COVID, we have lost so many friends, so many people. So please continue to pray for everybody battling COVID. If you don't know the things you need to do, I mean, I'm taking zinc, I'm taking vitamin D, I'm taking everything the doctor said to load up on. I'm taking um, vitamin B complex. I'm doing everything I can, magnesium, to, to really take care of your body and get it prepared in case that darn COVID hits. Shirley Singleton, are you watching this? I talked to you on the way to the show today and you were gonna be sure and tape it. So get your tape out, make some biscuits and make Ron a happy man tonight. <laughs> oh my gosh, these y'all, they're light, they're fluffy, they're pretty awesome biscuits. Oh my so God, that is good the, job, good I job. I don't even here. like honey and that it's is. It's hard to do things on camera the way we have to do it here because honestly, there's a sink over here about 40 feet from me. The stove is about half a mile from me. <laughs> so it's kind of weird to do this, but I love doing it. And I know that we get a lot of comments and people are like, please teach me to make biscuits. And, I and said, we have fun when we're doing it. We do. And I said, I could do a class of making biscuits. Well, we could have 20 people here to do a class. I would rather teach thousands of y'all. So thousands of y'all just tune in and know that this will be uploaded on YouTube in just a little while. And once it goes on YouTube, it is there permanently and you can watch it over and over. Who said she didn't like biscuits and, and honey? I, look at this. Now I have converted her and let me tell you, let me tell you. Full, t full tilt have you converted me. She, is that not awesome? I want somebody to call me and tell me what is the difference in sour wood honey? Because everybody said that the sourwood honey is the best honey, and this is what Papa Dockery brought it's me. It's from the wood. It's from the tree. Okay. That, it's the sourwood tree. Well, they said it's the best honey to have. I don't know why, but y'all look at how much we're eating over the weekend. Think about that. And we aren't even out of here with these biscuits okay. yet. So, but, you know, this, is, this has been a fun day. It's been an encouraging day for me because when I saw that it was Debbie's birthday, I kind of went, oh, okay. And then I thought, I have to honor that family because that family means so much to this community. That family means so much to the kingdom of God. That family means so much to teaching and learning and, and bringing people from the depths of drugs and, and depression. Completely. They have helped so many people. And so to the Dockery family, I love you. I love you, I love you, I love you, I salute you. Um, I'm praying for Asa today because it's gonna be a hard day. He, she was his precious. And everybody should be loved the way that Asa loved his precious. And it just we should all have that opportunity at some point else, in our lifetime. Something else. 
those cheesy biscuits are smelling pretty good. Everything's smelling pretty, pretty good. good. I'm telling and you, I, I don't like honey on my biscuit, and that's absolutely, <laughs> that's absolutely delicious. I'm excited. Today has been a wonderful day. Thank you for being here. Thank you for surviving cancer. Well, thank you Yay. for supporting me. Yay. We have such a good time. I talked to her last night and I said, well, are we going to cook? Well, I don't know. Uh, we may, we may not. And then about midnight last night, I saw a post on your Facebook that said, well, here comes bread pudding. So I thought, okay, bread pudding. Nope. I never nope. know till we walk nope. in the door nope. what we're going to nope. do, but nope. we can banner back and forth. You know, but she means Rich, a lot to me. Rich She's like Scott, a sister. Rich Scott said something about me one time and it just tickled me to death. He and Joe Kelly McCutcheon and said that I can just take it all, handle it all. I've never used a teleprompter. I never have a script. I don't want to interview my guests. I wouldn't want to see you on here. a teleprompter. No, and I don't want to interview my guests before they get here because I want to be as interested in them as you are. And in the near future, you're going to get to see some really cool people coming to visit. And um, one of them has a Christian school that is for special needs kids. And I love this, and I can't wait to have Kim on the program. And it's you know, That's so if you needed. have a special needs kid, you want them to have every opportunity that every other child has. If you have somebody who is fighting a disability, you want them to have every opportunity. I have a brother Completely. who was special needs and um, because of, um, he was a twin and maybe there were some issues with the, the birth and whatever, but, but Steve worked 25 years on the same job. He was a great employee and everybody has the opportunity to shine. We all have the opportunity to shine and it is up to us to not let somebody put our light out. We have to shine and so today as we leave you, we're gonna leave you with some more music from Angel Spirit because I want you to know that today Selena is holding her light high. She's shining. She said, I'm feeling good. I'm going to be okay. We I'm, hoping she she is, is. I'm hoping she is seeing the doctors I think she's seeing because that's the same cancer group I saw. And they just worked a miracle she with me. She loves it. She loves it. Honest so, to Pete. It's yeah. just unbelievable. But and, and keep prayer, her in your thoughts and prayers. Prayer, prayer, prayer. And again, you tell people how to get in touch with you if you need to get I've a CD. I've told them so many times they're tired of me on Facebook. <laughs> but all of you on, on ETC, you can call me up in the North Market. My number is 706-851-6433. Leave a message if I don't answer because sometimes I don't answer if I don't know who it is. Right. But we'll get to you. I'll have the CDs. We'll meet you somewhere somewhere in McKaysville, Ducktown. Shoot, I'll go to Murphy if you want me to, or up to, to Blue Ridge because I've delivered I know what Selena's everywhere. I know exactly what Selena's going through. I yep. know exactly yep. that hurt and pain and that fear that she's got mm -hmm. right now. It doesn't matter you know that God's got his hand on you. But right. this can help her tremendously and Absolutely. we want to do everything that we can. And I've listened to Selena I love my her aunt and I'm mother so sing an awful lot a long time. Perfectly. You just lady, Yay! I'm telling you, you did some Yay! you did Good some day. dynamite Good killer. Day. Okay, y'all. Biscuits. We're going to shoot you out with some uh, music by Angel Spirit. Please keep Selena in your prayers. Please keep me in my in your prayers because I'm going to be traveling today down to Milton. Um, it's a crazy time. Keep, keep all of us in your prayers. Yeah, we can absolutely. always use it. And thank God for a beautiful day. I went out this morning oh, with the dogs at what 7. What a gorgeous day. And I took a picture because it looked like the heavenly host of angels. What a beautiful day. Were, were, were flying across McKaysville. And remember, I if you're watching us breath. on YouTube, my email email is the Sherry Show, T H E C H E R I E S H O W at hotmail.com. If you want to send me some of your recipes you want us to try, if you want to contact me, if you want to pick up a cookbook, then do that. Um, if you can't get her, you've got my number, left. call me. I will get go. to her and I'll pick it up and bring it she to you. She knows how to find me. All right, guys, here we go to some great angel spirit music. Bye, everybody. You know experience and one I hope we get to do again sometime. And thank you all for all your support. You've been so good to us. Thank you. You ready? Now we're ready. Listen to a story how Jesus died for me on an old rugged cross of Calvary.
Yeah.